Namaste. I'm Dr. Robert. And today on Five-ish Minutes with Dr. Robert, my subject is Ganesha or Ganapati. And particularly in the context of the Ganesha festival, which is starting today and from where I am has already begun in India. In particular in Maharashtra, which is where Ganesha is the most beloved deity. Uh, it's probably the chief seat of the Ganapatya Sampradaya, the um, sect that make that worships Ganapati as the um, uh, as as the supreme reality in the universe. Um, and that was thanks to Moria Gosavi, whose uh, samadhi is in Chinchward not far from Pune. Um, and Ganapati has been worshipped in Maharashtra for many centuries, but it was in 1893 that Bal Gangada Tilak, or Lokmanya Tilak, for whom my Ayurveda college in Pune is named, uh, it was he who turned it from a private festival into a public festival that includes large images of Ganesh that are, are uh, set up in the, in the <clears throat> streets and lanes of uh, many cities, but in particular in Pune and Mumbai, and uh, who also uh, promoted the uh, public immersion of those images at the end of the festival. Uh, images were being immersed privately before, but also publicly. And part of this was um, to uh, generally revive uh, an awareness of uh, the popular culture during a time that the British were uh, discouraging that. And it was an, also an encouragement for Brahmins and non-Brahmins to join together and worship together. Um, and it was a good opportunity for people to get together and talk about all sorts of things, including potentially political things, um, without the British being able to pay uh, a lot of attention to who was saying what to whom. So um, in the years since, the Ganapati festival has become uh, very big. And um, uh, since 1974, there might have been a couple of years uh, where when I was not in Maharashtra during uh, the festival, but most years I've been there. And uh, of course, when I was in college, I very much got into it like everybody else did, because during this period, you know, there were always exciting Ganeshas, Ganeshas, a wrestler, Ganeshas, a space astronaut, Ganeshas, and you'd wander around in this and meet people that you know, or maybe people you didn't know, and you'd see all the Ganeshas, and you'd worship a little bit, and then you'd talk to people pretty much as Tillich himself had envisioned would happen. Um, and so it, it, it was a, a time that everybody enjoyed because at night you'd go out and wander around and during the day you'd chat about which Ganesh you saw and which Ganesh was uh, really interesting and who was going to which one and so on. And it's just a, it's, it's just a, a, a great time uh, that people, uh, and Ganesh of course is, is a very gregarious deity as well. You know, he's very, he's not at all, he invite he lets in, encourages everybody to come in. Anybody who has sweets that are uh, that are willing that he's that are that they're willing to share with him is welcome. So this year, of course, is um, is going to be not as happy a, a year. I've heard reports that there are some there are some pundals, there are some Ganeshas that have been set up in South Mumbai, but of course it's. It's not the same thing because now, because of the pandemic, everybody has to be much more, much more careful not to interact quite as much. Um, but of course, perhaps that's just um, the supreme reality uh, in the form of Ganesha's mother, Parvati, and father, Shiva, saying to everybody, um, you've been doing this externally uh, quite a bit and very effectively, but now, you need to internalize this because internalizing things is what we need to do. Everybody needs to do because no matter how much you have pravritti that you expand externally, you're going to have to bring all that back internally because once you depart from this earth, that's all you're going to be able to take with it, with you. So, 
I encourage everyone during this, these next 10 days to really uh, focus on Ganapati and remember that he is the, the Lord of obstacles. He can create them or get rid of them. And we already have some gigantic obstacles in the world. So I hope everybody will spend a little bit of time uh, encouraging Ganapati to be nice to everyone and help us get rid of those obstacles. And um, uh, uh, one of the best ways to do this is to sing to Ganapati. And if you can do it yourself, that's great. And if you can't, um, definitely uh, YouTube will have plenty of things that you can hear um, people, other people singing. Um, and I was just listening myself to Lata Mangeshkar, who is probably the most famous vocalist in India and who I've met on several occasions, many years ago, no doubt, uh, singing the, uh, the, the famous Mar Marathi Arati to Ganesh. And um, I think one thing we really need to remember about Ganapati is that he's extremely intelligent, very wise, very intellectual, but he's a six-year-old boy and he doesn't care that much about intellectuality. He cares a lot about sweets and a lot about affection and being affectionate and loving towards him and offering bhakti and devotion in his direction is the best way to connect to him. And on that note, what I'd like to end with is Sukhakarata dukaharata varata viganatsi nurvi purvi prema krupadze atsi sarvangi sundarati shenduratsi kanti shobe male mukta palansi jay deva jay deva jay mangalamurati o shri mangalamurati darshan matre mane Smarane matre mane kamane purti je deva je deva. Mangalamurati Morya Ganapati Bapa Morya Morya Jay Ganesha.